Okay, so uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, probably even months ago now, I made a video where I talked a little bit about how I've been feeling stressed and sort of overwhelmed by the amount of things that I feel like I want to do, but at the same time just having a lack of time or there's not enough time to do all those things. Or at least that's what I've been feeling like. And I just wanted to give a short or a quick update on kind of how that's been going and what I've been doing to try to fix that. And so what I decided to do at like the shift of the new year, almost like a new year's resolution, but not really, uh, just because I don't really like new year's resolutions. I feel like they never really pan out. But what I've been trying to do ever since the new year is trying to spend less time on my phone or like in front of screens or really in front of like entertainment, so watching Netflix, TV, those sort of things. And the reason for it is that I think that a huge part of my stress actually comes from the fact that I waste so much time on my phone and that sort of subconsciously builds a stress or increases or almost increases my heart rate uh, throughout the day just because I feel stressed about the fact that I'm on my phone or watching TV when I should be doing something else. And so today then has been like a really good example of that uh, habit or that thing that I'm trying to do working really well and making me more productive. Like at the start you saw me doing the morning routine, going outside, instead of doing the cold bath and the run, I, since I was sick pretty recently I've just been like walking in the morning, I'm gonna probably run tomorrow. Yeah, I just wanted to share this at the start of the video just to give you kind of an insight into how I'm trying to actually solve that problem of feeling overwhelmed and stressed. And this seems to be a really good way, I can really recommend it. It might be an obvious solution, I don't know, but uh, to me it wasn't really because I didn't think that I spent that much time on my phone until I stopped, or like, almost stopped. So uh, yeah, now let's get started working on the calendar page. And this is going to be like the last page before the pre-alpha, essentially the last thing that we need to do. And this is because I think that it's really valuable to have this thing where you actually see like how many days you've been working out as like a motivating factor to keep working out and keep uh, maintaining your streak or whatever. Uh, so that's what we're working on. All right, this is where my math uh, comes into play. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to basically create an array of all the different dates. What we wanna do here is we wanna show a column here for each of these days of the week, essentially. So for the Sunday, we wanna have a column that has the 27th, 4th, 11th, 18th, and 25th. This is essentially what we wanna create. We wanna create an array that has then an array of all the different days. So we we're gonna have seven different arrays. This one is for Sunday, and it has all of the dates within that month uh, that correspond to Sunday. And then we have another array which has all the dates corresponding to Monday. And this means that there's a bit of a math problem here. I need to figure out how I'm gonna do, create some sort of algorithm that actually goes through finds all the different dates and adds them properly to this uh, to these arrays. So that's what I've been struggling with now for the past like 40 minutes, I think. So I'm gonna try to figure that out and try to come back and try to explain actually how I solved it, but it's probably not gonna be a pretty solution. So uh, I, see I seem to have solved it. It was basically this uh, long method here, which was the best solution that I found that wasn't too time complex, I guess. And we're just basically looping through it and adding the days as they come to another array that contains all the different dates. I don't know if that makes any sense. There's, it's a lot of stuff. I don't, I don't understand half of it. So that's why it's kind of difficult to explain it. I'm gonna just have some breakfast. It's 11 a.m. right now. I should have had breakfast a long time ago. But first, I would just like to talk about something that I think is really important. You know those like social media quiz things that you've probably seen circulating around, and maybe you've even answered one. 
it probably looks something like these ones. Do you notice a trend? Your answers actually reveal personally identifiable information about yourself, often information that's used in password recovery on many of the popular sites. So don't answer those quizzes anymore. When we think about these phishing scams, we generally tend to think about the Nigerian prince emails, but the truth is that hackers actually evolve and get better over time, and so does our scams. So that's why I'm really excited to be partnering with Aura, who are also sponsoring today's video. Aura is identity theft protection and insurance, fraud monitoring, a VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy to use app. Aura monitors the dark web for your emails, password, and social security numbers, and can alert you within 24 hours if they're exposed. Should your identity be compromised, all plans come with $1 million in identity theft insurance and access to experienced US-based customer service team to help you resolve any incidents. You can try Aura for free for two weeks and see if your personally identifiable information has been leaked to the dark web. And you'll also see why they've earned an excellent rating on Trustpilot. Start your free trial at aura.com slash calp. All right, this is the sort of stuff that even though it's like super ridiculous, it kind of breaks the flow of my day when I figure out or I realize that I don't have enough eggs to make my breakfast. So I'm going to have to go down and like buy some eggs, which is not far because the store is like just a couple steps away from my apartment, but still. So yeah, I really should not be complaining, but still, it's super annoying when you're super hungry. All right, now I've finished my breakfast. I'm gonna go get dressed because now I'm gonna play some paddle which I think not many people know what that is outside of like Sweden and Spain, but you're gonna see. Alright, now I'm back and it's like 6 p.m. Uh, we'll see, I have about 45 minutes. We'll see how much we can get done. Uh, what I would like to get done is essentially this uh, little thing here that indicates uh, that a day that we've worked out on a specific day. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to finish the actual thing where we actually see the days where we actually worked out. But what I wanna do is just uh, finish this button thing here. Uh, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so now we're very close to being finished with this calendar page. Uh, what I've done here is I've basically, I'm going through and I'm checking which dates we actually work out. There, this has been a bit of a struggle, but uh, now I think it should work if I run it again. Right now it just uh, shows a marking on all of the days uh, in the month except the first. So then if I run it again, it should show us the dates properly, which it does. <sighs> so that's... <coughs> So that's really good. Um, now we are almost done. The next thing is going to be just to be able to actually press one of these dates and then that should open up a workout. And then we should also have a button underneath here that says like start new workout or something like that. And uh, also maybe actually having some sort of indication for which day we are on currently, which that would be good. So 
other than that, we're pretty much done with this calendar page. So we've made a lot of progress today, which I'm super happy about, and I didn't expect it. Uh, but now I'm probably going to have some dinner and then head off to bed. All right, so uh, I'm going to head off to bed now. And uh, today was a really productive day, though. I feel like I got a lot of stuff done. Like I'm almost completely finished with that calendar page, uh, which I thought was going to take a lot longer. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, yeah, I feel like this thing of like not using my phone as much uh, really does help with the stress and help me just feel like I have way more time and I think I actually do end up having more time as well. So um, yeah, I really recommend trying that out. And if you're interested in what book I'm reading right now, I'm reading the book, The Joy of Living, which is a book written by a, I think it's like a Tibetan a monk from Tibet. And uh, it's basically like, he talks about meditation and the, the effects of meditation. And that's one of the reasons also why I want to avoid my phone more because I want to give, I guess, my brain space to think the thoughts that it wants to think and uh, kind of just not always have some information that come that's like bombarding my brain, I guess. Um, but yeah, I also have seen all of the emails about becoming beta testers. I really appreciate it. There's like, I don't know if it's like 200 or 300 of them. And I haven't really had time to go through all of them. So I'm going to try to go through them as soon as I can. But I just wanted to let you know that I've seen them. And I don't even know if I'm going to be able to sort through them. Or if I'm just going to give everyone who wants to be a beta tester or alpha tester uh, the ability to become one. Uh, but yeah. I think that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.